Um, let's see. Just want to do something really fast here. Let's see. Oops, that was wrong. Ah, sorry. Okay. So uh, I'll just use uh, Jet Overlay with these settings, nothing special. Um, I'll then just um, Move that up like that. Extend. Um, and let's see what I'm gonna do now. Is let's see. Take this, that, this, that, and so on. Um, let's see if this works. So I'll use the connect tool. Press space, and that will create this kind of stuff. Um, and use the connect tool over again. Uh, oh, doesn't want to do that. Okay, anyway. So the connect tool over again and just keep on doing that until you're satisfied. Something like that, I guess. So I can see that I want the same almost the same distance between these guys, right? The higher re resolution, the better. At times, at least. Um, okay, so... Uh, why is this... I don't know what happened here. For some reason, I kind of like screwed that up. But I'm going to slice it like this. It doesn't really matter. It's just a preview anyway. Uh, so I'm going to loop this, press P, and we got that kind of geometry. Cut that out, delete, paste. And as you can see, I kind of like screwed up right here. Uh, I'll just merge or flatten those. Like this, so it's not it's not 100% accurate, but 99. All right, so you can see I got the points. What I'll, what I'll do now is, for example, we'll bevel it and bevel it once more. It's not that well. It's not that um, just weld weld average. It's not super. Accurate. It doesn't need to be super accurate. That's what I was trying to say. So, just welding average, just to get rid of some points there. Not really sure that that's needed, but uh, it kind of like cleaned up the geom geometry. Let's loop and use rounder with, I'll say, 100 millimeters. Why not? And you can see now that it's starting to look quite nice. Um, I'll use the connect tool here again twice. I can see that this topology looks well again nice. Um, I could make this more equal so that this distance is more like this just by scaling that up. No, didn't work that nice. That great. Anyway, not that important. 
Uh, so maybe I'll decide to create a sphere, uh, I mean a circle. Swap those and again Y slice, okay. And that looks good. What I'll do now is I'll I'm not going to going to slice this one, just these guys, and I'll slice it by using what I showed before, Julian, Julian two uh, in the X, maybe thirty. Yeah, uh, I'll undo that to get my selection back, and redo, and now they're all selected. So just a small trick there on how to get that selection back in order to run this over again. So it's kind of like boring to select all of that in, well, by hand, so. And that's pretty good. Um, you'll notice now that these are not connected, but it's fine. Uh, it, we don't need that accuracy anyway. So now it's starting to look more like we want. Let's put that in the background, this uh, shape that we had before. I'm going to smack that onto that shape by using heat shrink. But before, before that, I'm going to add a weight map. So this is basically the same that I showed you in the other video, going like this and adding in the Y texture. Uh, using gradient here, showing that gradient in using white shade, and hit invert, um, automatic sizing. In this case is pretty close, but like I said, sometimes that will screw up. So make sure that that value here is basically the same as this value here you'll get that from absolute size because sometimes for some reason life will, will make that one meter that's not very cool so just make sure of that uh, you can see that it's not really doing exactly what it should and that could be due to light wave or the gradients so I'll just tweak that slightly like this I was just I tweaked it by a millimeter or so so by doing this I can use uh, the move tool with weight map fall off, hold down control to edit that, to tweak that. So I'll do that soon, but first, like I also showed in the other video, was let's see, heat shrink, and we'll set that to 9900 again in the Y. Uh, so it's just much easier to smack things on the Y's X or Z channel. Um, so you might want to consider like rotating your geometry when you smack things on. But anyway, because you're not going to always uh, melt this in the Y direction. Sometimes you'll it in an angle. Okay, uh, so back here you'll see how this is still shaded with a weight map. You can choose, well let's just choose smooth shade, activate both of these guys. Again, use the move tool with weight map fall off and hold down control move that up and it looks very good. We'll see that I got this kind of like uh, I guess I could tweak that by going like that. You see that? The circle here. And the reason why I didn't want to slice that was because I was going to fix some stuff later on. Let's 
let's do that. Um, press B, hold down control, go like this, and use another bevel in this dire direction. Now you might want to keep that like that. Now you can see it's kind of like has a smooth, nice curve, uh, and that's that might be what you want. But in this case, I want that flat, so I'm going to use the transform tool and just drag that down. So now it's all completely flat. Use the bevel tool again, and good enough. Now I cannot really use, well, I can loop it, but I can't use the rounder tool now because I got two layers selected. So need to only go here, and then go here. Say 40 on this one maybe, and we'll do same here. Loop that, use rounder, and I think that's pretty nice. Um, can see now the geometry looks much better compared to the other video. It looks a bit more limited now, but uh, that's because I made this model fairly fast. Um, I could, let's see, uh, why won't that select? Here we go. On. Now I could make sure that these uh, that these are merged in in this in this uh, on this edge right here. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show you that now. Uh, I would probably do that by taking this object and using uh, solid drill or or something like that to drill this object into this shape here but for now I'll leave it at this and it looks very good uh, of course you can also continue tweaking this object for example you can cut things out or even use heat shrink on top of this again and add detail. 